Hey yo, what's up my little coders? Let me show you in this tutorial how to solve the little question number 102. Binary tree level order traversal. Basically, we are given the root of a binary tree and we want to return the level order traversal of its nodes values. The return type should be the list of lists. And if this is the binary tree which we get as an input, in this case we want to traverse through it like level by level. And we want to store the values from each level as a separate list inside like one big list. If you start with the root value tree, there's one value on this level, we store this value as a separate list, then another level. We have two values here, 9 and 20, that's a separate list as well, we store it. Then the next level, which is the last level, we have here two values, 15 and 7, that's another level, so that's another list. We store the values from this level, and yeah, and then we just return this like list of lists. This is what we need to do, guys. And if you're not sure how to do it, and you want to figure out how to solve this question efficiently, just stay with me, guys. I will quickly write the code now, and I will go through it with you, and we'll explain you everything. Okay, dokie, my little coders, here's our code. I also prepared some pictures for the explanation. Because we want to return the list of lists, that's why we create the variable for it here on line 17. Here we initialize this variable, it's equal to the new array list of list. Then we call the function which is called traverse, that's the recursive one. We pass the root value to it and also we pass the current level, because we want to keep track at which level are we located at the moment. And again, because that's the recursive function and we are traversing through the tree, the first thing about which we should think is the base case. And the base case is when the root is equal to now, because if the root is equal to now, we cannot do anything with that, we just return straight away. But if it's not equal to now, it would mean that we would consider the first level, that's the value tree, that's the root of the whole binary tree. We check if the current size of the result is less or equal than the level, because if it is, it means that we need to create the sublist to store the values from the current level. This is what we do here on line 29. We add a new empty array list to the result variable. So here, then once we have done that, we can add the, the current value to this sublist. So we do like result.get of index zero, because we passed zero here, and we add the root value to it. Perfect, we traversed through the first uh, level now, right? And we added the value. Now we can go to the next level and we can do it recursively. We would call this function again recursively, but on the left subtree first of all. And if you understand the recursion well, you also understand that the line 33 where we're going to the right subtree would not get executed until we would traverse through the whole left subtree. So actually, we're not going level, level by level but we are implementing the deep first search algorithm. So first of all, we will traverse through the whole web subtree of the binary tree before we would go to any like right subtrees. And there's the reason for doing that, because if you actually want to go level by level, you would need to use some additional data structures to do that. And when you would use the additional data structures, you would use some additional resources as well. And this is not, you know, the best thing to do when you can avoid doing that. So because we want to solve this algorithm efficiently, we would avoid doing that and we would implement the deep first search here. But okay, left subtree, the next value, value 9, that's the current node. Okay, it's not now, we don't return anything here. And here we also need to add a new sublist to store the values from this level. We do that here, we also add the current value to this sublist. Perfect, then traverse to the left subtree. But here there are no, no values here, we would return here. Same applies for, for the right subtree, because there is nothing here. So we return, then recursion, and from you know the initial node we would go to the right subtree. Value 20. And you already know what we would do here, but we would not add a new list because we already have a sublist for this level. We would just spend the current value. 20 goes here to this list. Then traverse, left side, 15, we create a new empty list, we add this current value to this list, 15 goes here, left subtree, nothing here, right subtree, nothing here, so recursion, we would go to this node, which has the value 7, and here yeah, basically we would append 7 to this sublist, and in the end we just would return. 
simply as that, guys. Let me just run it to see if it actually works. Code does, let me submit. And if I submit, I get 100%. That's perfect. I hope it was clear. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please guys, give it a like and subscribe. Challenge your friends to see if they can solve this question or not. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Good luck.